Hi, I'm Martha Roberts. I'm an economic research specialist with FCC's Ag Economics team. I focus on the economic factors underlying the success of businesses in Canadian agriculture and agri-food. The ratio is the price of livestock divided by the price of a major feed grain. Really, it's just one way to gauge the profitability of raising livestock. For instance, many producers both raise livestock and grow grain, in which case it would be useful to know what revenue they could get by selling a bushel of grain or if they could get more by feeding the grain to the animals and selling them. One of those options is going to give them greater profits. However, some producers just own livestock and they have to buy feed. So as feed costs increase relative to the price they would get selling the animals, there will be less profit. The ratio is very useful. Changes in the ratio show increases and decreases in profit margins, making good business decisions, say around expanding the herd, depend on understanding trends in profitability. And that's because feed costs are typically the largest costs facing livestock operations. As it becomes more expensive to feed livestock, a producer may opt to uh, just not buy as much feed or possibly even liquidate some of the herb. Or if they have grains to sell, they may choose that option because they'll get higher prices. The hog sector gives us a really good example of how to use the ratio. We could look at cattle and barley as another example. In either case, the livestock to feed ratio is a great way to gauge the health of livestock operations. In the example of the hog sector, hogs eat corn. The ratio is estimated as the number of bushels of corn equal in value to 100 pounds of hog live weight. A low ratio suggests that producers will pay more for feed costs relative to the revenues received when selling the hogs. Looking at the chart, you can see that the hog to corn ratio was on a downward trend between 2005 and 2008. It bottomed out when feed prices reached a peak and hog prices had declined. In 2010, the ratio climbed briefly, but things didn't really improve much. During this period, Profitability was lower due to a perfect storm of events, a global recession, high grain prices, a stronger Canadian currency, and the outbreak of H1N1. In 2013, the ratio started to climb. For one thing, feed prices were easing after a drought in the U.S. subsided. As well, the PED virus wiped out 3 million animals in the U.S. herd. That's about one-fifth of the total Canadian herd. Not surprisingly, hog prices increased dramatically at this time. Profitability reached a peak in 2014, but more recently, both prices and profit margins have reverted to more normal levels. You can use the hog to corn ratio to project the likely direction of future profitability. Hog and corn contracts are sold on futures markets, so the ratio of their prices can be used as a projection of tightening or growing profit margins. The important point to remember, the livestock to feed ratio is a great tool to understand producer profitability. Thank you.